What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadow Gun Legends. In today's video, we take a look at the new bundles in the gold shop. There was a new update yesterday, and we have new bundles. So we're gonna open them, see what's inside, and see if they're worth the money. Before I start, though, I need to say a word for Madfinger Games. I woke up to this uh, billboard that says, subscribe to JHC Gaming in the game. And they said last week on the my stream they were gonna do something for me in the game. And I would never expect a video game company to do something like that ever for me. And I don't know what to say. I'm just speechless. So I just can only say thank you so much. And I wish you guys the best year. 2019 is going to be special. I can feel it. It's going to be a great year, guys. Wish you the best. So let's go, guys, and go on with the video. So this is the gold shop. This is where you spend real money to buy gold. Uh, just saying, guys, but my shop is in Canadian dollars. So I'm guessing in US dollars, probably $9.99, uh, $19.99, and probably $30, bucks maybe. So you can click on read more, and you see all the content of the bundle. So the Spectre bundles got two weapons, the Pazuzu and the Airy Special. Now, Spectral Drift hat, it looks like the Smoke Eater. Uh, and then you have a full set of armor, Spectre. It looks like a reskin of the Raptor Plus set, but this one is customized. It's got purple stripes or something. It's a new paint. We never seen that one in the shop. It's uh, black and purple stripes, but we're gonna open that one, guys, for sure. I will buy one of these just to see what's inside. Now, the next bundle is the Bushido bundle. It's just a cosmetic bundle, cosmetic and stickers with one emote. Everything there I have except the helmet. So I would be paying uh, like $20 US for the helmet and three stickers but what you don't see under my face cam is you also get gold on top so you get the cosmetics uh the paint the dual color paint stickers emote and 1250 gold now the last one is the most expensive the emperor bundle probably 30 dollars us look what's inside hex fire it's a brand new weapon no idea about that one and then you have another full set of armor emperor boots uh legs gloves shoulders and body now a golden skull we had three different variations of that cosmetic hat so guys in today's video we are gonna open two of these bundles the first one and the last one because they got armor so let's do this guys and we're gonna start with the specter bundle and goods just arrived and you see all this stuff going to my inventory 11 items go straight to your inventory so you need the room but this is the pazuzu and perks are randomly generated when you buy a bundle armor or weapon Perks are randomly generated when you buy. So 8 Elites, uh, 10 Pickup, 5 Iron Sight, 5 Reload Speed. This is Pazuzu. I already have a Pazuzu in my inventory. It's the one from the Halloween event. So we're going to check the perks on my old one uh, and the stats. 123, 520, uh, 07, 934. It's the exact same stats. The 270 Pazuzu from the bundle and the 270 that I bought on the Halloween event has the same stats. But the perks... I got to choose them on the Halloween event, so I got much better perks on my old one. I had the uh, damage, elites, and crit or something like that. So I'm going to get rid of that new one. I just bought it, but there's just no point keeping two of the same weapon for me. I don't have uh, unlimited room, okay? So then what's next? Uh, the airy special. Let's check the perks. So I'll get rid of that also because I will find a better one for sure. I play every day. And I'll see a lot of these. Now the armor. So we're going to equip all that. So that is the full set. Uh, spectral set. I'm going to have to admit guys. This thing looks pretty sick. Uh, I love what they did with the stripes. Uh, the set of course looks beautiful. The thing though is. Uh, I didn't have good purse. The, the shoulders got like 20 crit. Uh, everything else. A very high knockdown resistance on the boots. But gloves are not good. Legs not good. And chest not good. So probably going to get rid of that. There's a sticker also. Uh, it's called that count epic sticker i'm gonna put it on the chest uh just for the the heck of it but yeah i like it i like it but again it's more of a collectible uh you probably have better gear in your inventory legendary gear have four perks on the armor uh the epics only have three and if you've been playing for a while you probably have good perks uh this one right here just for the looks probably gonna get rid of everything but just to show you guys, uh, this is the Lilac Stripes paint bucket. And if I apply, nothing changed. So it's already paint. And you can keep the bucket and the paint cans for other stuff. 
So once again, Bushido bundle, I will pass. Let's go for the Emperor bundle now. All right, same thing, goods arrives. Gonna go all in my inventory, guys. That's a lot of stuff, honestly. You need you need space, guys. So first thing I wanna see is the weapon, guys. The hex fire uh, right there. Some guys say it's a reskin uh, Skull Blaster, so we're gonna compare the stats, but look at the damage, 132 and 390 to fire it. So let's equip and compare with other rifles, okay? And see uh, how close it is to some popular rifles. But the looks, uh, I don't see much right here. It's, it's golden. Uh, the perks, not bad. It's got 12 crit, 5 iron sight, and accuracy. 132, it's like Nico, but uh, slower fire rate and more bullets. Now, I this is lower fire rate, but the rest is better. So, it's got the same damage as Nico and Adestus, but lower fire rate than Nico and higher than Adestus. So, it's like in between uh, for the fire rate, but the same damage. All right, let's equip everything, including the sticker. But this is the armor set. It's all golden. Once again, the perks are not great. But uh, what I wanted to say about the weapon is a lot of guys say it's a lot of money for a weapon that's not even that good. But I had some very interesting comments on Discord about the weapon. What if it was very, very good? That would not be a good thing because it would make the game pay to win. You don't want people to buy something that you cannot have and it's actually very strong. So it's more of a collectible and it's not supposed to be stronger than legendaries, of course. So this game always been against pay to win mechanics. The developers do not want that in their game. So you can buy to look good. You can pay for cosmetics. You can pay for dance moves. You can pay for gold and stuff, but it's not going to make you stronger. All right, so I did compare the necklace also. Uh, the bundle necklace got the, the black dots and the regular ones got red dots on it. So there's a difference. It's not the same necklace. You see the shoulders, double selling is pretty bad. It's random. You could be lucky, buy a bundle and have crazy good perks and you can be unlucky. And the same thing for the armor. People complain on Facebook that the price you pay, you should at least have good perks. Well, at the same time, it would make the game pay to win because you could buy something and you don't have to work for it. Uh, I don't think it's a great idea. So, what are you buying exactly? For $30 US, you get a uh, exclusive weapon, golden weapon. You'll see some gameplay at the end, uh, which is unique. You cannot get it somewhere else. Uh, you get golden paint, golden paint cans and paint bucket. You get the gold skull, you get the, the necklace and the machete. And you get a cool set of gear, but you're gambling on the perks. And that's it already for the bundles. Like I said, I'll pass on the one in the middle. But if you guys are looking for that cosmetic set, it could be a good deal. So my opinion on the bundles, I think the first one's got pretty decent value. You get a very good looking hat and the purple paint uh, for 10 bucks US. You can get lucky on the perks, of course. You never know. It's a gamble. If you get good perks, you get a good deal. But it's not that expensive. It's like 10 US. The last bundle is way more expensive, something like 30 US. But you get a very cool golden weapon. And I think you get more stuff for your bucks. Even if the armor is bad, you get the gold hat. You get the different necklace, the machete, and the gold paint, of course, which will be probably rare because it's not available in the shops. So let me know in the comments if you got anything good with the armor. So once again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Enjoy the gameplay. Take care.